many cancer staging studies are performed with a single portal venous phase examination. However, there are several cancers that require multiphasic exams where images are obtained at different time points after IV contrast is given. Pancreas adenocarcinoma, neuroendocrine tumors, and renal cell carcinoma have special multiphasic CT exams for screening and staging. Staging pancreas adenocarcinoma requires both late arterial and portal venous phase imaging. The late arterial phase is most often the best phase to see a mass in the pancreas. At this time point, the mass will usually enhance less, appearing darker than the surrounding pancreas tissue. In the portal venous phase, the mass often blends in with the rest of the pancreas and can be hard to see. Often the first CT finding to raise concern of a pancreas mass is dilation of the pancreas duct. Normally, the duct is barely visible, so if you can see it, you are right to suspect a mass causing an obstruction. If we zoom in, you can see a relatively subtle boundary between the pancreas tissue and the mass which has decreased enhancement. On the other side, the dilated duct leads right into the mass, helping to identify the boundary. In many cases of pancreas adenocarcinoma, the primary tumor can be difficult to see. The best way of determining its boundaries is to look for the point where the common bile duct or pancreas duct change size due to obstruction caused by the tumor. In this patient, both the common bile duct and the pancreas duct are obstructed by a pancreas head adenocarcinoma, referred to as the double duct sign. Although we cannot see the primary tumor well, we can infer its boundaries by the location of the abrupt tapering of these ducts. A major part of local staging of pancreas adenocarcinoma is to look for vascular involvement, both arterial and venous, as pancreas adenocarcinoma often spreads locally along the vasculature. In order to look for vascular involvement, we carefully review all vascular structures in the late arterial and portal venous phases for subtle soft tissue thickening stranding, or narrowing. In the example on the right, we can see soft tissue encasing the celiac artery when compared to the normal celiac artery on the left. Similarly, here we can compare a normal rounded portal vein near the pancreas head to the narrowed slit-like portal vein seen in this image on the right. This appearance indicates venous encasement by the pancreas head mass. The portal venous phase is also used to complete staging of cancers in the abdomen and pelvis, which includes looking for metastases and abnormal lymph nodes. Metastases are sites in the body where tumor cells have spread that are separate from the primary or original site of tumor. These sites can include the organs, lymph nodes, bones, and bowel. A common site for cancer to spread is the liver. The two examples here show the typical appearance of single and multiple liver metastases, which are generally rounded masses that enhance less than the background liver. Now let's switch gears quickly to discuss the multiphasic cancer examination used for both neuroendocrine tumors and renal cell carcinomas. Both neuroendocrine tumors and renal cell carcinomas are known to produce hypervascular metastases, most commonly in the liver. These liver metastases appear bright on the late arterial phase images, but can frequently blend in on the portal venous phase images. Because of this characteristic, you can use multiphasic CT for staging these cancers. In this example of a renal cell carcinoma staging exam, the liver metastasis is clearly visible on the arterial phase image, but nearly impossible to locate on the portal venous phase. In this example of liver metastases from a gastric neuroendocrine tumor, the liver mass is well-defined and easy to see in the arterial phase image, but it really jumps out and we can see an additional mass when the liver window is applied. However, both masses are nearly impossible to see on the portal venous phase. For this reason, both neuroendocrine tumors and renal cell carcinoma benefit from a dual phase examination which includes both arterial and portal venous phase imaging. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. 
So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.